Welcome to Crossfire. I'm Anthony Procino alongside Trey Lanthier, and ASU lacrosse is ranked third in the national preseason rankings. Now, Trey, what are ASU's expectations for this season? Uh, you know, I mean, the expectations coming into the year, they were ranked number one by Lax Magazine, and since then, it's kind of gone downhill. I mean, you've seen Preston Anderson departing from the program, and beyond that, you also have Dan Davis suffering a, a herniated back disc, and, and these types of things can dampen hopes of winning a national championship, but ASU is known as a team who peaks late in the season rather than a team who peaks early. So I wouldn't be surprised to see this team in national contention later on. But right now, they've got to get past Colorado and Colorado State. And what that comes down to is whether or not they can play defense at an efficient enough level. Uh, to, to beat those teams because Colorado and Colorado State are both defensively going to shut you down regardless of what you do. It's a question of how you can respond to their offense. And Colorado, ASU faces Colorado March 13th yes. and March 15th. But And do you think we'll see a preview of what ASU uh, – is going to play like in the national tournament if they face Colorado? You know, I, I think that uh, it, at this point in the season, or at that point in the season rather, when they're playing against Colorado and Colorado State in the regular season, it's not going to be the same level of intensity. Uh, but that will determine. I mean, that matchup is going to mean the difference between being a one seed and being a two seed or being a three seed. That's what that's what it comes down to. Is That's what that game should, in, uh, should imply in the national rankings. But in terms of what it'll look like compared to how they'll play in the national championship or national semifinal, I don't think it'll look the same because ASU, as I said, is a team that peaks late. Colorado, Colorado State are very consistent throughout the season. And ASU's a team that peaks late. But do you think uh, losing in the semifinals or uh, losing in the national tournament would be a bad finish for ASU this season? Are they expecting... Uh, only a national tournament with nine seniors on this year's team? I Honestly, I think this is either a championship or bust. I think it's what it comes down to is, is really uh, the team's expectations. They want to win. They've been in the four straight Final Fours. They've been there so consistently, and they haven't yet won a, win, a ring for it. So that's that's got to be on the minds of every senior at ASU, and even the younger guys. they got to want to win it for the seniors and for themselves uh, because – this is a program that hasn't yet won a national championship, despite being a contender every year. I, I have to say it's championship for Boston Tempe. And now uh, with this uh, experienced lacrosse team, it's one of the most experienced teams since 2010 they, with nine seniors. Three yep. of these seniors, they played in, 2000, in the 2011 national championship. Uh, do you think that experience will help ASU uh, in the playoffs? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Having seniors on your team is what has booked up these runs that ASU's made. No doubt in my mind, these seniors will step up big during come tournament time. And that's all we have for Crossfire here. I'm Anthony Procino alongside Trey Lanthier. Thanks for watching.